A two-body system is a system in which there are two objects with different masses that are tied together by a rope or a string. There are a couple of important things to realize here. And the first is that since these two objects are connected by a string, they will have the same acceleration. Because they are linked together, the acceleration of one object will always be the acceleration of both objects. And then secondly, it's important to realize that that is a single rope, which means that the tension that the one object feels is equal to the tension that the other object feels. Well, sometimes we would refer to that as T1 and T2, but it is the same rope, so the tension remains the same. There is a standard approach for any two-body system, and the simplest one where the both objects are on horizontal surface is a good way to demonstrate that procedure. So you would start by drawing a free body diagram for each of these objects. Here we have two objects, different masses, tied together by a string that does not stretch or go slack, and each of them has their own friction coefficient, and there's an applied force to the left of 58 newtons on object A. Now, in order to help us visualize this, we always start by drawing a free body diagram for each object. So we know that there's always a normal force acting on that object, there's a force of gravity pulling the object downward. We can see that there's an applied force that is pulling this object to the left. There's a tension force that is pulling the object to the right. And then since this object's motion or attempted motion is to the left, there must be a frictional force acting to the right. The same goes for object B. We must draw a free body diagram. Since there's a force of gravity and this object is on a surface, there must be a normal force. The object is this time being pulled to the left by the tension in the rope and there is a frictional force acting to the right. Now once you have a free body diagram for each of these objects, we can write a Newton's second law expression for each object. We know that Newton's second law applies to each object individually and that tells us that the net force acting on that object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its acceleration. I'm going to assume that the left is our positive direction, which means that the net force is the applied force to the left minus the frictional force and the tension force acting to the right. And that is equal to the mass of this object multiplied by its acceleration. And I can substitute in the values that I have. I was given an applied force of 58 newtons. Friction I have calculated by calculating the force of gravity then realizing that there is no vertical acceleration, therefore the net vertical force is zero. Therefore our normal force is equal to the force of gravity. And then I can calculate the frictional force of 25.09 newtons. Tension is unknown. The mass of this object we were told is 8 kilograms and the acceleration is unknown. We can do the same for the second object. There are fewer forces acting on this object, but Newton's second law still applies tells us that the net force is equal to the object's mass times its acceleration. In this case, again, because I've chosen left as positive, tension is the only force acting to the left minus friction acting to the right, and that is equal to this object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. Tension is again unknown. Friction I have calculated as 10 newtons. Mass of this object was given as 3 kilograms. Now what we see here is that I have two expressions with two unknowns, tension and acceleration. So I can rewrite this one as tension is equal to 3a plus 10. What I can then do is I can also rewrite this one here in that form, in the form that tension is now equal to 32.91 minus 8a. Since I have two expressions for tension and we know that tension is constant because it is the same rope, I can now say that the two tensions must be equal, which means that this 3a plus 10 must be equal to this 32.91 minus 8a, which we can then simplify to solve for our acceleration. And we find that our acceleration is a positive value, meaning to the left of 2.01 meters per second. It is a vector, so it must have direction. And finally, I can then also answer for the tension in this rope, once I have the acceleration of 2.08 plus 10, I can then see that the tension in this rope is then 16.24 newtons.
So the steps for these two body systems are always the same. Always start by drawing a free body diagram for each object. Write a Newton's second law expression for each object, being sure to pick one reference direction and make sure that all forces fit in with that reference direction. Find two expressions for tension or acceleration. Because those are the same, you can make them equal to each other and solve for the unknowns.